Well, good morning, everybody. It was a pretty cold night, to say the least. There's one point during the night, I had to put my hoodie on and wrap myself up. I was so cold, and it's crazy. It's supposed to be summertime. I've never experienced these cool temperatures before in the summer. Usually, you like sweat your bag off, not see your breath. I just got my CPAP battery charging, drawing 68 watts. It's gonna take about an hour and some to charge. It uses a uh, 12 to 24 volt converter. But we do have some decent sun out, so I'm going to take out my solar panel here. Still early in the morning for the solar panel to really start working. So I got an output of 65 watts and an input of 27. So I'm not running neutral. I'm still shaded pretty good. Only two panels are showing, two are in the shade. I think I can slide it down on the hood. So now all panels are in the sun. Set my cable. What do we see for a difference? Perfect. We're like neutral right there, 64 out, 64 in. Perfect. It's like a little waterfall coming down over there. Oh, this is beautiful to see both the rivers merge. That one coming in, that one coming in, creating this little calm pool in the middle here. Wonder if that's where the fish are gonna be hiding out. It's only catch and release here apparently. Oh, this is nice. So a few years ago, I did a video called uh, Searching for the Lost Lemon Mine. So the Lost Lemon Mine is rumored to be in this area. The fabled legend, if you Google it, is that they found a lot of gold in this area and no one has found it ever since. Now, according to the legends, where it could be was where two rivers merged and there was supposed to be some sort of cliff nearby overhanging rock on a cliff and that's where the gold is. No one's been able to find it. Who knows, maybe I might be close right here. Two rivers have merged. But people would have searched this area a long time ago. Hold on. So this is what Michael slept in last night. He's got his Teton Sports tent cot. It's another alternative way of camping. A little bit off the ground would definitely help. That's the only issue I have with my burrito. That you're right on the ground level getting in and out. But nothing like having some morning coffee, listening to the water. As the day goes on, the sun's gonna get a little bit better. So right now, an EcoFlow Delta, 65 watts going out, 75 coming in. So I'm basically running off solar right now with the battery pack. 
as backup and it says right now recharging time is 24 hours 22 utilizing 15 watts roughly 10 watts roughly to charge which is pretty good that's a misconception that a lot of people have when it comes to solar solar works awesome when you can calculate how much water you're using versus how much is coming in how much reserve power you got in your battery banks makes a big difference because I know somebody who has a camper and they got a solar panel but they assumed because they had a solar panel that they could run the inverter and run all their accessories and wondered why their batteries were dead within an hour that's not how it works it's not how it works it's all about calculating your usage versus what's coming in and what's nice about the EcoFlow is that it tells you how much power you got with the wattage you're using if there's no input power coming in. Keep that in mind. Key is try to find some wood to cut down for tonight. There's this panel. Oh, this one's still pretty green. starting to go brown up top but it's still alive need to find something that's kind of on its way out look at this perfect it's already down it's already down how green is it though oh, it's pretty green Probably burn still. I still laugh at people. There's this one person that uh, does YouTube videos out of Alberta and they like to come out in the bush and everything else too, which is great. I really enjoy watching videos of people going out and exploring. But why would you bring wood in the forest? Why would you spend money on gas station wood? when there is tons of wood around you. I've never been in a place that I 100% needed to bring wood. I only bring wood for my stove as an emergency. You're in a forest. You're going to the forest, there is going to be wood. So this is something I picked up quite a while ago. And I'm going to give it a try. I picked this up from Princess Auto. Princess Auto seems to be getting into a lot of camping things. I noticed they got awnings, rooftop tents and stuff. But this was on sale a few months ago. Rechargeable camp shower. 3.7 volts. Maximum flow 3 to 3.5 amps. Water flow 3.5 to 4 liters a minute. Running time 45 to 60 minutes. Recharging time two to four hours. I'm gonna open this up Start to recharge I got my portable Cabela's Privacy tent I use as a bathroom and then take the little portable toilet out obviously have a shower later Let's get this out of the box and have a look at it In a nutshell this is how it is the battery is quite small. It's in this little pack right here says right on it it's not waterproof make sure you don't put it in water it's got an on off button that you hold down it's got blue light i'm gonna throw that on the charge i'm gonna try that out later on in the day this is nice i got my chainsaw battery charging using up 55 watts 100 watts coming in four hours of charge Amazing. It's still morning. So I want to start getting some wood just on top of the hill there. That way I get it done in the morning and it's done. <sighs> get my exercise. I can haul wood. It would be easier just to bring the Jeep, but I need to lose some weight. I got the four amp hour battery in here, it's not as good.
I like to get the six amp hour battery. To the dirt. Got this thing propped up. Now I can just cut. Grab my firewood bag. Put about four pieces in there, so it's not too heavy. There we go. And then I drop my butterfinger. Stack them a different way, there we go. There we go. Now we can hike back down the camp. So the question I get a lot about my electric chainsaw is how much can you cut? I used a battery that it came with. It's a four amp hour battery. It's got one bar left and I was able to cut all of this right here, which is about the same as if you used your gas chainsaw and then you stopped it and then it got vapor locked and you can't start it and you get mad and toss it. The electric will always start 100% unless it burns out and I haven't had any issues with it yet. This is going to be my second or third year with this chainsaw and it's treated me extremely well. Got it on sale at Home Depot. It's a nice cheap budget model for somebody who wants to take a saw with them camping and doesn't want to spend a lot of money. I just cut up a bunch of small pieces of kindling for my stoves I'm going to use for cooking. I got the firewood to use for today. When there's no fire ban, in the old days I used to use the gas bottles, but I'm trying to get away from that and use more natural wood and stuff. That way I'm not creating more waste and I'm also cleaning up the forest. Ah, starting to get some shade might get some rain, we don't know. Oh, there we go. There we go. My first fire using a fire starter. Nice. 
I think this little titanium stove is going to replace the BioLite. Remember I bought these little grills, the Bushcraft grills. And I was disappointed when I got them. I'm like, what am I going to use these for? And now I have a reason. Let's get some bratwurst cooked up. This is good. I just get some low heat on there for the cooking. And I got some coals. So I'm going to grab a couple little pieces of wood here. Get those in there and they start burning and won't be enough to burn the sausages. But will be enough to get some heat going to cook it. I'm going to use this to make my steak later tonight as well. Control your fire, cooks your food. Nice. Oh, I've done everything for the day. Strung up some solar lights I bought so I can light my pathway. Going up to the campsite, a little solar down there, a little cheapy Amazon. String lights bandage up. Aubrey made it out. He is just down by the river. There he is. He's poking up. Thought he's going to bring the Russian hot tent out, but he's decided that he's just going to sleep in his truck tonight. So this is another item I picked up. It's pretty expensive, but I think it's going to be worth every dollar. Kelly Kettle, the ultimate scout kit. Boils water in minutes. Comes with plate set, cup set. I got my inflatable bag, not inflatable, my collapsible bag for water, then used for my shower. I bought this collapsible bag a few years ago. I haven't been able to find them since, but they are the best thing ever. So that's the shower. I'm gonna press that button. Actually gotta hold it in. I think. Oh yeah, it's nice and warm. That's gonna be awesome. Right. Oh yeah. And have a nice hot shower. The Kelly kettle worked out awesome. And I was thinking of ditching that grill. But I think I'm gonna keep it as a stand. So I don't have to put the other stove on the ground and keep it right there to do some cooking. And there's enough space there that I shouldn't have to worry about heat. I did have to reorganize everything, but all fit in the tote. Great deal from Princess Auto, these ammo crates. Awesome for camp storage. It rained a little bit earlier today, so I'm hoping I can get this fire going. Paper's a little damp. Wood is a little on the damp side. I just got that burning down. Get some nice coals going before I throw my steak on. This time, I forgot I brought this. 
Buffalo Ranch. I used it on my chicken wings, but I don't know how it's going to be on a steak. That little girl's the perfect size for my steak. Oh, it's just evening. Went hard all day, getting some content. Really fancy this little stove. It's going to replace my BioLite, I think. I know I hated it when I first got it. Got mad because I didn't know how to assemble it. Tossed it. And then I looked at the box and seen how it was supposed to go together. Funny how that works, eh? finally dark enough that my pathway has some lights now some discoteca ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah. good morning everybody night is done we're just packing up once again leave no trace behind we left some firewood up here and down by Aubrey's truck, Michael's already gone. And it's time to pack up and head out. Just stopped airing up. Aubrey's just checking out my air up tool. Jeep is just packed. Another 33.5 pounds of air in there. Well, it's another trip in the books. It was nice to get out. House has been pretty quiet since Tom Cat passed away. My mind's been kind of off, so. Kind of needed a distraction to get away and have some fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.